Hi there, welcome back to the Hobby Farm Guys. I'm Steve. And I'm Brian. And doing all the work behind the scenes is Eric. Hey everyone. If you're looking for beauty and color on your hobby farm, look no further than the nest boxes in your chicken coop. Different breeds of chicken will lay a variety of different colored eggs and today we'll explain why as well as discuss which hens will lay which colored eggs. Yeah, our inspiration for this video came to us because recently one of our favorite YouTube channels not only gave us a shout out, but used our video as inspiration to create a beautiful painting. Now over at Diane Antone Studios, Diane has lots of watercolor tutorials and demos that you should check out. We'll leave links to her channel and website in the description below. And in honor of Diane, we'll all attempt to paint a rooster. Uh, on the sketch that Diane used in her video, you can download many of her sketches on her website. And we'll show you the results at the end, so enjoy the video while we paint. So this is something I see a lot of. Somebody decides to try raising a few chickens, produce some eggs, right, be a little healthier, more independent. They find out they love it and are addicted. Soon they're looking at adding more birds, and almost always they're looking to add a bit more color to that egg basket. So today we decided to share with you a few birds that lay beautiful eggs that will definitely pop in your egg basket and have everyone asking, what bird laid that? Now some of us <laughs> are old enough to remember black and white television and the excitement when that first new color TV replaced the old black and white model. Now eggs are the same. Collecting a basket of white or brown eggs is awesome, but once you figure out that you can have a rainbow of color in that egg basket, well, most of us are at least curious, and many of us jump in with both feet. Egg color is genetic, meaning the shell color of a hen's egg is primarily determined by her parents and the genes they passed on to her, not her food, the temperature, her age, or anything else. Now, small variations in hue can be influenced by other factors, and we'll mention some of those as we go, and we'll approach this topic as follows. We'll break it down by color. We'll learn about the primary eggshell colors, how they happen, variations that are possible, and maybe some cool things about them, and then give you a list of breeds that typically produce that colored egg. So let's start with white eggs. In the U.S., white is the most popular color egg. White eggs are considered wild or non-mutated. Uh, interestingly, all eggshells start out as white, as they're all made of calcium carbonate, a crystal that is white in color. As the yolk travels through the chicken system and the eggshell develops, pigments are added that result in egg coloration. White eggs simply travel through the system with no pigments being added. The shells are white all the way through, white on the inside and on the outside. The most common and familiar white egg layer is the leghorn, a prolific layer, but several other breeds lay white eggs as well, such as the Anconos, the uh, Buttercups, Dorkings, Hamburgs, just to name a few. Off-white or cream-colored eggs are often laid by breeds such as uh, Catalanas, Lakenvelders, uh, Faverols, among others. Yeah. Say that, let's find times. <laughs> yeah, I could barely say it once. The next color to talk about is brown. Brown eggs appear across a large range of shades, right? Shades varying from light tan to rich dark brown, from an almost pinkish hue to what seems more or less orange, right? The brown coloring results from the hen applying a pigment protoporphyrin, mm -hmm. I think, during the uh, latter stage of egg development. The pigment doesn't pass all the way through the egg, but stays in the outer layers of the shell. You'll note that when you crack open a brown egg, the inside of the shell is still white. Mm -hmm. right? So in addition to the genetics inherited in the breed, age and stress levels can affect the tone and depth of color. For example, a young hen may lay darker, age, or darker eggs and then they lighten as she matures, kind of like a copier, you know, running low on ink. Um, lots of options here. Hens that lay dark brown eggs include the Wellsummer, Barnevelder, and Copper Morans. Uh, for a lighter brown, try the Rhode Island Red, Jersey Giant, or the Australopes. Now, pink is kind of a matter of perception, uh, but the Orpingtons are the most reliable option to produce a pink-looking egg. And again, you can see lots of variety here. Yeah. Next, we have blue eggs. Blue is one of the most beautiful colors of eggshell, and it's becoming more and more popular. Now, oxyanin, a byproduct of bile production, creates this beautiful color among select breeds of chickens. Now, unlike brown eggs, the bluish tint appears early in the egg-forming process, and because that pigment reaches the egg during an early stage, 
it colors the interior of the eggshell blue too. So you're going to get a blue shelled egg blue throughout. Blue eggs are produced by Araucanas, Leg Bars, Americanas, and Easter Eggers. Next up, green. All eggs begin white, as we just learned, and chickens with the proper genes add either a blue or brown pigment to the shell during the process of producing an egg. Those are the colors we get to paint with. But just like paint, mixing those colors can result in beautiful assortment of new colors. Green eggs are a result of crossbreeding genes from blue eggshells with genes from brown eggshells. These eggs are green on the outside and blue on the inside. And the shades of green can vary from light mint to dark moss and even olive, depending upon the crossbreeding in the genes. Uh, Isbars are the only natural green egg layers, though hybrids such as favicanas, easter eggers, and olive eggers will all produce green hued eggs as well. That's right. Crossbreeding results in unique genetic combinations that can lead to particularly rich colored or even speckled eggs, or to washed out and drab ones. It's possible to see quite a variation in egg color even within breeds and sometimes even from the same bird. Now this is because the bloom, which is put on right before the egg is laid, contains a fair amount of pigment. Now that bloom can impact how we see the shell's color. For example, one breed of chicken, the crowed langshan, is known to produce a plum-colored eggshell due to the bloom applied. Although the quality of the color is going to depend on the parentage of the particular bird. So there you have it. The skinny on adding a rainbow of colors to your egg basket. One last thing, it's a common myth that the differences in an eggshell's color lead to differences in nutritional values. Mm -hmm. When it comes to cholesterol, calorie, and protein values, every egg is the same. The only time these values change is when the egg size differs. A jumbo egg, for instance, is going to have more calories and protein than a small one. All right? Eggshell color is also unrelated to your egg yolk's appearance or taste. Diet, not genetics, is going to play the most significant role there. So go ahead and add a little color to your egg basket. And add a little happiness to someone's day by telling them about Hobby Farm Guys. Leave questions and thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, happy hobby farming. Bye-bye. That was excellent, fellas. So we're back. We've been painting away. And now it's time to see the results. Who yep. first? One, two, three. All right, One, two, let's three. do it. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Let me see what you guys got there. Wow. Pick my numbers. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I don't hey. think Diane has anything to worry about. <laughs> no. Make sure you let us know which one's your favorite by leaving us a comment below. And don't forget to stop by Diane and Tone Studio and check out how this is supposed to be done. <laughs> it's not like this. I can tell you that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.